Good morning everyone. Our lesson for today is all about propositions and symbols. So when we say propositions, it is a declarative sentence that can be classified as true or false but not both. So we have simple propositions. So it is a statement that has one thought. So wala siya connecting words. So Ang compound, magiging compound ang propositions pag may involved na connectors or connecting words. So, maunin sila. So, in short, maning na sa table. So, pag end ang connective, so maunin ang single sa end, ang type of statement is conjunction. So, pag or ang connective, maunin single sa or, ang type of statement is disjunction. So, ang connective is not, maning symbol sa not, ang type of statement or proposition is negation. So, when we say negation, imuhang baliktaron ang statement. Then, if and then statement, so ang symbol is ka na, ang type of statement is conditional. So, na siya condition. If and only if, ang symbol ka na, ang type, type of statement is biconditional or Two conditions. So, example, let P, Q, and R are proposition. So, mga statement ni sila. Simple proposition. When you say simple proposition, isa lang ihang tot. Walay connector. So, statement P, I recite the preamble. So, when you say proposition, uh, it is classified as true or false. Pwedeng true, pwedeng false, but not more. So, statement Q, I will pass the subject. So, pwede man siyang true, pwede pong false. Statement R, I will get an A grade. So, pwede man siyang maklasified as true, pwede pong false. Okay. So, 1. Write the following in symbolic form. So, ang given is naka-sentence or naka Naka-sentence. So, i-convert na to ang statement into symbol. So, since ang tatlo ka-statement diri ang kay gi-represent na na to as letters. P, Q, and R. Okay. Number one. I recite the preamble. So, I recite the preamble. So, isa-isa ko na to ang statement ha. Since ang statement na I recite the preamble nag-represent sa letter P, so ibutang ni mo P. Pag i-convert na to into symbol, so since ang statement na I recite the preamble nag-represent or nag-symbolize sa letter P, so P at ibutang. So, nod, end. So, since na-connector na end, so, ang um, simple proposition na himo na siyang compound proposition kay nanay connectors. To add, ang symbol sa add, yes ka na. Get an A grade. So, since ka ni get an A grade, nag-represent siya sa letter R. So, R pwede mo ibutang. So, from statement, may himo siyang symbols. P and R. So, ana lang. Ana lang ka sa yun. Okay, next, number 2. I will get an A grade. So, I will get an A grade. So, represents siya sa Q. Q. Or, ang symbol sa or, kana. Pass the subject. So, pass the subject is I will get an A grade. Okay. R, then R. R, then Q. Like that. Next, number three. I will not recite the preamble. So, since I recite the preamble is letter P, deny word na not. So, kumbaga, ang statement na P, imuha lang siyang gibaliktad or ginigate. Gibaliktad ni mo ang statement. Deny word na not. So, therefore, not P. Since ang statement is not represent sa letter P. Next, it is false that I get an A grade. So, since ang statement na 
I will get an A grade statement R. So then, imuha mang gibaliktad ang statement. Iyon man mo, it is false. So mali daw na pakakuha ka og A grade. So imuha mang gibaliktad ang statement. So negation gihapon. Not R. Okay, next, number five. If I recite the preamble, then I will get an A grade. So, since I recite the preamble, so P, so, uh, uh, I recite the preamble, so P. Since na, I collect first na, if and then. So, ang symbol sa if and then is kanakman. Then, <laughs> I will get, I will get an A grade. So, R. Ano lang niya ang symbol? Okay, next is number 6. I will get an A grade if and only if I pass the subject. So, ano yun? Sa mani siya na symbol, R. Since, if and only if, ang symbol niya ka na by conditional, I pass the subject. Q. Okay, next. Number 7. I recite the preamble. I recite the preamble. Asa man to ay P. And get an A grade. And, so since na I end, get an A grade or since na ay ka, mag-ibig sabihin, oh, ato na siya ni parin teacher. If and only if, I pass the subject. So, Q. So, maano ni Karun, ato ang symbol sa statement number 7. Number 8. I recite the preamble. So, P. And pass the subject. Pass the subject. You. No? I recite the preamble P and get an A grade. Are they in the ring? I recite the preamble and pass the subject Q. Then I come. Uh, or. Can I or? Get an A grade R. So, yun, ano na iya ang mga symbols based sa given na statement? Okay, next. So, vice versa na po. Convert each statement into words. So, ang given na po is naka-symbol. I-convert na po na ito ang symbol into words. Okay, so number one, negate P or not P. So, pwede, so since not P manidiri, o pwede na na ni mo para i mong i-answer. I will not recite the preamble. O pwede. Pwede po, it is false that I will not recite the preamble. So, pwede iba-iba ang statement as long as gibaliktad ni mo ang statement. So, since negate P man ang given. Next, number 2, negate Q. O pwede na po, sag-unsa i ang statement as long as Ang thought, imuhang gibaliktad ang statement sa Q. Next, number 3, negate R. O, pwede ra po, katiyo na ni mong statement ni ra. As is, since ang answer there is negate R man. O, pwede iba-iba ang answer there ha. As long as ang statement na R, imuhang gibaliktad. Next, number 4. Q, F, since, uh, F and then statement man ni, eh, hindi not P. So, magiging, I will pass the, if I will pass the subject, then, I will not recite the preamble. So, since negate P mana. So, balik taro lang ni mga statement sa P. So, if I will, if I will pass the subject, then, I will not recite the preamble. Next, kani. So, number 5. So, negate R, if and only if, Negate P and Q. So, kana, negate na silang duha. So, pwede po na ang ibutang ni mo, 
or same lang na sila ani ha or negate r if and only if negate p and negate q so pag i-distribute na nimo ang negation pwede na siyang maingon ani or same lang ni sila og statement kani na wala lang na i-distribute kani na ka-distribute so pwedeng so first kay negate r man so i will not get an a grade if and only if i will not recite the preamble and i will not pass the subject next number 6 p if then statement then q or r so ang p nato is i recite the preamb if i recite the preamble then I will pass the subject or get an A grade. Ano lang ha, magbasi ka dere sa original na statement.